Hey guys, Austin here. Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. Now, before we get this thing started, I wanted to say, guys, happy Monday. I know, weekend's over, we're going back to work, school, etc., whatever you people do on Mondays. But I wanted to know, how is your Monday going? I know I asked this, I got some positive feedback, but guys, if you're ever interested in sharing your thoughts, feelings, etc. in the comments section, go ahead and I will try to respond to as many of you as possible. But, guys, today, we are reviewing the, wait for it, Sentries mod. That's right, guys, and what's more interesting is we're reviewing this in 1.11. This is the first mod we are reviewing in 1.11 and that's pretty interesting to say because as you guys know sadly on Friday my new world series came to a close just because of crash issues or whatever but I am hopefully soon starting a new series and I don't want to give away any spoilers but it may or may not have to do with 1.11 but yeah, look forward to that, guys. I don't want to make any promises saying it'll be starting this Friday, but if it does, then I guess you'll know by then. But um, if it doesn't, then hopefully something else will be on Friday. But yeah, so guys, get pumped for that. And if you guys are excited for some show, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel because we do all kinds of awesome stuff like this every single day of the week. I don't want to say every single day because we don't post videos on the weekend yet. But... Um, yeah, so the Sentries mod, basically what this does, you probably can see them lined up around already, um, I had to set this up <laughs> accordingly so I could demonstrate this properly, basically what it does is it kills off anything that spawns in your world that's hostile, I want to say, I was testing it with peaceful mobs, but it wasn't killing them, so I'm assuming it doesn't kill peaceful things, like, as you can see by that, yeah, um, that zombie kind of, well, you know, so, we can't, <laughs> so this mod's pretty, um, well thought out for if you want to protect if you have a house or a complex or something in Minecraft you want to protect you get a ton of mobs always spawning there like the desert the desert's probably one of the worst places to be in Minecraft um, in terms of nighttime because there's so many mobs spawn there but if you had the whole place layered with these sentries you'd be fine and basically if you guys don't know sentries are normally like um, turrets or people that are in like a tower like that shoot at things and such but this is kind of a different sentry as you can see let me just get right into it so guys to craft a sentry you're gonna need any kind of stone slab or any kind of slab I should say at the bottom two iron ingots a diamond any kind of quartz block type and two obsidian so a pretty hefty recipe you're definitely not gonna craft this on your first day unless you're like MVP of Minecraft but um so yeah, I get these things called sentries, and you can do a ton of things with these, but the basic one just looks like this. As you can see, it actually kind of looks like all the parts you used to, like, form it, except the diamond doesn't really show. But, um, if you right-click it, you get this cool interface here. Let me get off the side screen here, but yeah. You get two cool inf interfaces. It says sentry, and it has, like, a weird loading bar or whatever. So this is, like, this by itself does not do anything, I believe. You have to actually give it stuff so it knows what to do. Now this mod's been along for a while and they have, this is like probably one of the most detailed updates I've seen for it because it used to be just different towers you would craft and do different things but now it's just one sentry and then you just throw everything in it. So if we go back into our chest here, as you can see we have three diff or four different tiers. We have a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. So let me just read them off. So tier 1, the core pulses a weak light. That, that's what tier 1 does. Tor tier 2, you can sense a powerful energy in the core as you hold it in your hand. Tier 3, the core seems to shift between different planes of existence. So that's just crazy. And tier 4, the core shakes violently in your hand. Don't drop it. So the recipes for these are as follows. I'm just going to show them really quickly. Just so you guys get an example. And as the tiers upgrade, you always need the um, previous tier in the center of the crafting recipe. Here is tier 3s, and tier 4s is, and in case you can't tell, the white is quartz. It just kind of flashes between all the different types. But yeah, tier 4 is the most expensive, but in all honesty, you, I kind of feel like that isn't as expensive as the thing itself. Well, maybe it is, but I mean, if you're already able to craft with obsidian and diamonds like easily, then you probably already have enough materials to craft with emeralds and such. But yeah, those are the four tiers, and just to show you an example really quickly, let me grab the fourth one. You basically right-click the sentry, and you can shift-click or just click, and it'll go in there. And as you can see, it says tier 4. It's loaded up. It has the red bar, like, indicating that it's, like, in the sentry thing. So we're just going to take that out right now, but that's basically what that looks like. 
Next up, we have probably about every single upgrade you possibly could think of. They're called um, modifiers. So we have the nature modifier. The wheat creates an aurora of, s of ser serenity? serenity around you. Sorry, I have no idea what that word was. But um, you craft this with, as you can see, some gold and wheat. Next up, we have the pulsing obsidian chunk. Um which is a pulse modifier. The chunk periodically emits a small pulse that hurts your hand. Hurts your hand. Alright, next up we have the darts modifier. The arrowhead can pierce even the strongest armor. Here, wait, I need to show the recipe for the previous one. That's the um, that's the uh, pulse one and the arrows one is crafted with that. So the arrows one, oh. You need a wither skeleton skull to craft that. Wow, that's um, difficult. Next up we have the guardian. You feel revitalized when holding the sphere. I don't know why it's saying all the effects like when you're holding them. I'm not entirely sure about that because they go into the machine, but whatever. And that's how you craft that one. Next up we have the smite one. Lightning dances across the inside of the bottle. Um, I don't know what they were thinking when they were making these descriptions. Jeez. Very uh, detailed. But yeah, that's how you craft that one. Next up we have the frost one. The air around the heart condenses and freezes simultaneously. And that's like, that one's kind of difficult because you would need prismarine crystals. Um, next up we have the flame modifier flame. A mask of chaotic flame surrounds the soul that screams in agony. Well, that's terrifying. And oh, we got some of the new blocks. We got magma blocks. Nice. Um, we got this one's actually my favorite one because I was testing it. Uh, the poison modifier holding the bottle makes you feel extremely nauseated. Um, and this is the recipe for that, which is uncraftable potion. No effects. So how do you craft it if there's an uncraftable potion involved? Okay, so I guess you'd have to get this one out of creative mode. Next up, we have the insanity modifier. Voices in your head whisper dark thoughts when you hold the grinning skull. How do you craft this thing? Oh, so you'd have to have been to the end and killed the wither. Well, gotten heads to make the wither, I guess, to be able to craft that one. Next up, we have the combat modifier, sharp enough to cut bedrock. Well, that's terrifying. This one's kind of the simpler one. We have the wind modifier. Don't open it. Bag of winds. Oh, wow, that's funny. Um, and that one's kind of easy to craft also. And we have the elemental modifier. A vast amount of power locked away in this rune. What can you do with it? Question mark. And you would actually need the violent bag of wind. You would need the bag of violent winds, which is the other modifier, with um, a lot of interesting blocks to be able to craft this thing. So basically, again, what you do is you would take the modifier, you'd right-click it in the sentry, and put it in there, and as you could see, it would actually go in. And I see it's actually becoming nighttime, so let me just make it day really quickly. I forgot to turn the daylight cycle thing off on this world. Um, let me just do that real quick. Slash game rule do daylight cycle false. All right, now that's taken care of. Just because I don't want any other mobs here, just so it won't give an accurate description, so... We actually have three mobs to test this out. We have the Villager, the Zombie Pigman, and the Stray. And I love the fact that we're in this newer versions of Minecraft because I can finally use the newer mobs as test subjects. I didn't want to use any of the other ones just because they didn't seem to fit the bill correctly, I guess you could say. But we're going to test out four different modifiers and all four of the different um, cores. So I'm just going to grab all four cores. Actually, you know what? We don't even need to because I think I already... Yeah, I already set up the ones with the cores. So we don't need that. But let's just grab four different modifiers. So we'll get the Poison one. Get the mass hysteria one because that one's crazy. We'll get this um, elemental one and we'll get the blade one. So basically, every tier, like if you put the modifier in now, see how it just says poison? If you were to take, like, let's say the third tier one, it would say blight. If you were to take the fourth one, it would say plague. So basically, the higher the tier is, the stronger that these modifiers are. So if you just put the modifier in by itself, it would give its effect. But it wouldn't be strong enough. If you gave it, um, like this one only has tier 1, so if I put in like the blade one, it just has combat. And as you can see, it actually gives off like the cool effects or whatever. It actually gives me strength when I'm around it too. Also, the tier determines its radius as well. So like if you only have a tier 1, the radius will be smaller. Like as you can see, I'm only getting the effect here. But if it's like a tier 4, then the radius will be insane. So we have it at tier 1, so let's just put in a villager. You can get hurt by this. Alright, I guess he's immune. Zombie pigman? No? Stray? Well, that thing's just burning, but, um... Hmm. 
Sharp enough to cut bedrock. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. It must just be... See, this one might just give you strength. Because I have strength 2 right now. Alright. I guess this one's only for giving the person the effects. Let's give the poison one, too, because I know this one works. Alright, guys. You gonna get a fact? Yeah. So the wither skeleton's hard to see because he's burning, but he's also poisoned right now, which is pretty interesting. But I think the better way to um, show off this effect is if I go to this one I have all the way over here. This is the tier 4 one. If I give it the poison modifier and spawn in a mob next to it, it gives it wither. Now, I'm not entirely sure how bad the wither is, but it seems like wither 2 or 3. Yeah. That's how strong it is if you give it the tier 3. Four upgrade. So let me just try that with the sword really quickly. So, so I get invisibility and strength. Like, and I bet you that's a normal strength. Let me just spawn a villager really quickly. Yeah, the fact that I can punch ten hearts worth of damage, I'm pretty sure this is like strength ten. <laughs> I don't know how strength applies to the normal punching abilities. Cause look at that, I'm two shotting with my fist. Like that's insane. So let's just look at the crazy versions of all of them. So if I go to the uh, Mass Hysteria one, so this gives insanity. Um, Mob, are you going to feel this insanity? Any of you guys? See, I don't know what's wrong with him, though. Oh. I get it. Alright, I understand what it's doing. It's making them fight each other. So he's actually going to fight the other pigman right now. Are you serious? Okay, just out of curiosity. Insanity. Okay, there's no actual effect called insanity. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Well, now he died, but <laughs> that was insane. So if you have the max effect of this, I'm actually curious what the lowest effect does. But yeah, the mass, like the most powerful effect of... Here, wait, get this out of here. Um... So if I just spawn in the skeleton and the pig zombie, are they going to fight each other? Huh. So it doesn't seem to affect them. But the strongest tier um, sentry does. So whenever I um, spawn in two guys, let's see this again. It makes them fight each other. That's insane. So they actually become insane. And he still has the effect too. As you can see, he's got the particles around him. So if he wanted to, he'll just go and kill another... Like that. Like, that's crazy. So you can have this set up at your house. And this this is a wide range of effect. Like, if I put this guy right here, it's still going to hit him. Or... Yeah, it did, actually. So, um... If you have, like, just this thing at your house, the mobs are never going to attack you. They'll be attacking each other. But I guess that could be bad for a... Creeper. Let me just see something real quick. So if I gave it a, gave it a creeper... Yeah, this is going to end badly. Um, don't do it. Oh, maybe not. So you're telling me the creeper would never blow up? That's interesting. I swear if mobs attack creepers, they would still blow up. Alright, never mind then. That still would work out. So yeah, if you had this thing at your house, you'd never have any issues. Alright. Well, now that's taken care of. I guess we can um, test out the final thing. So let's take this thing out. Let's put in the elemental thing. Elemental fury. It's giving white particles. Um, what happens to you? Oh, it shoots fireballs at everything. That's not chaotic. All right, let's see what the lower version does. If that thing shoots um, fireballs. All right, let's give you this. Let's spawn a creeper since you're not going to move. Um, what do you do? Nothing. Hello? There's creepers around. Huh. So it seems like if you were to craft this thing, you don't just want tier 1 because it does absolutely nothing. Yeah, it says the core pulse is a weak light. It does absolutely nothing. Alright, let's see what this one does over here. What's this one? Tier 2. So if I give it elementalness, let's spawn in some creepers. Are you going to do anything about it? Do you not recognize creepers as enemies? I'll give you skeletons. That's so interesting. Alright, let's see what tier 3 does. Because by the looks of it, I know tier 1 works, it's just very weak about it. Alright, let's spawn in a few creepers, skeletons, hit them. 
Yeah, I don't see what, um, what's up with that. That's interesting. Because you can see it's working. It's giving off the particles. It might just take a while, maybe? Huh. Alright, I don't know, but we can just show this off as an example. Again, apparently we're just... The, the, the fourth tier is the only one you want to craft. So if I just spawn in creepers around it... Yep, as you can see, it just blasted all of them. Oh, and it's not only doing that. It's shooting them with water, too. And I don't know what that was. Is that blood? <laughs> oh, it's not done yet. Um. So yeah, do, do you attack villagers? No, okay, pigmen? Yep, yep, you hate the pigmen. Let me just... Ooh, I don't get, that one's like, okay, so it's shooting them with wind, water, and it's also sending spikes in them. I don't know if you can see that, but like, at certain points, it's actually, um, let me see if I can get that to happen again. Like, pay attention to the ground. Yeah, that, it's like a, like a rock, like a, actually like a clamp thing hitting them. That's so disturbing, and then shoots them in the air too with wind. So if I had to say this and the insanity one are probably the two most powerful ones you want to get. Let me just show the recipes again just to get an example. You want to make that and you want to make that. Now I know that's near impossible to make on your first day of Minecraft, but um, just saying. And also the poison one's pretty good too because it gives, um, I don't know if I showed it off, but it gives, yeah I did. It gives like the insane wither effect. So if you had these three sentry guns, tier four, you'd of course have to be rich for this, but let's just say you wanted, um... I'm just loving the elemental one at this point. But, um, if you want your house protected at night, or even, like, the area around your house, so there's some, like, villager base you're trying to protect or something, these things do not attack villagers. They don't even seem to accidentally hit the villagers. Like, if I spawn in villagers here, and a pig right here, well, they ran away from the pig, but, like, the thing does not hit the villagers. Regardless of where they are, like, it'll hit them, but it will not hit the, um, villagers. So, this thing is pretty good at protecting everything, and it's, like, I guess you could say player friendly too because like if I was, let me just do this really quickly, if I go right here and spawn in a pigman, I'm not going to get hurt. Look at that. He's getting completely tortured, and that one hit him with water, that was funny, but I I'm completely unharmed. So these things are very good at like sensing who to attack and who not to attack. They aren't going to like, and what's best about them is iron golems, if you hit them they kind of get mad at you, kill you, snow golems, they don't last long. These things. These things will last forever. And even if you don't have the best one, you can keep the lower tier one for a while and then just upgrade it as it goes. Because you only need to craft like the base part and then you just upgrade the pieces inside of it. So yeah, guys, I'm not entirely sure how long this mod showcase lasts. It seemed like a pretty long time for, for a usual mod showcase, but I was getting really into this mod. This is an amazing mod, and maybe we might see it in the future in some series that might be coming up. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But anyways, guys, I wanted to say... Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe to the channel to see more Minecraft mod content like so. And do not forget the download for this mod will be linked in the description so you download it, test it out for yourself, or play with friends as well. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.